this week is going to be a short video of me creating a large butterfly sculpture that is going to go into my front window display. I hope you enjoy. I'm going to start by tracing and cutting out the wings. Now that the wings are cut out and glued together, I am going to start by painting them a benzomedazzlin yellow medium and matte white. Now I'm using a black Posca paint pen to start putting in the details.
now I'm using a cerulean blue chromium and a matte white to start adding in some more of the colorful elements. Time for a spot of quinacridone red and matte white. Now I'm using the mixture of yellow and white from earlier to go in and add some texture and details on the upper wing. Wings are done, now it's time to make the body. Gluing on the wings. Now that everything's dried, it's time for me to start adding on another layer of paper clay so that I can start adding texture and details to the butterfly's body. Sometimes a girl just doesn't want to wait, so I'm bringing out the embossing heat gun to speed up the drying process.
to start painting the body using a matte black to get things started. Getting things dry and then using the yellow and white mixture from earlier to start adding on the body details. I'm going to paint the eyes using Dr. P.H. Martin's iridescent nickel ink mixed with a little matte black. Time to start poking holes and gluing in the antennas. Using some stainless steel wire to start making the legs. Going to paint the wire legs with some matte black paint. Time to start getting the legs put on. Now for the center uh, wire that's going to be used to affix the butterfly to the front window display. ready to hang in the front window. Now, I didn't show you this, but as always, I finished this lovely sculpture by sealing it with a few coats of Liquitex satin varnish. I imagine this beautiful butterfly has just emerged from her cocoon and is ready to explore the world and search for some nourishing nectar. I really hope that you are finding some ways to nourish yourself too. Until next time.